Hi, my name is Tanya Sheridan. I'm an independent consultant with Close to My Heart. And this morning I wanted to come to you and teach you how to create this beautiful fall pumpkin with our, paper, our new paper colors and glitter paper. So my pumpkin is my foundation. Um, this is one that I found at a craft store somewhere. It is a more, it's a harder pumpkin. Um, and I haven't been able to find one just like this one again. However, I have found some beautiful craft pumpkins and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So it could really work on any type of a surface. But you'll notice here that we have the brand new colors. This is our desert rose. Of course, espresso we've had for a while. And this is our new scarlet color. So they blend very beautifully together for a fall collection. You'll also notice that I have created some tags just to add some flair to the pumpkin and added, added these fun sequins all the way around the pumpkin. So let's get started. This is my craft pumpkin. This is a similar pumpkin that I found at a craft store. Um, you can find them at Target, you can find them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any of those type stores have these craft pumpkins. Um, you'll notice that this is a white one. Uh, you could easily distress it to look similar to the one I showed you just by adding some distressing inking along the pumpkin, but I liked the pure white on this one, so I wanted to leave it as is. So you'll notice I've already attached two of the flowers. So the first step that I want to show you is how to actually create those flowers. And I'm going to do so with my espresso. So my espresso is two-sided, just like all of our cardstock. The dark side is going to be the original tone. And then if you flip it to the light side, it'll give you the same color, just a lighter version. So I want my flowers to add up, build up, but I also don't want them to be too thick. So I'm going to add some foam tape. This is our thin foam tape. We also have a regular, but for the flower part, I'm gonna add the thin. And I'm just gonna kind of fluff my flower up a little bit and put it on top. And I'm gonna alternate some of the sides as I go. Now, you don't have to put foam tape in between every layer. In fact, you'll notice on the top, on the bit top or layer, higher levels, I'm not going to but I wanted to give it some depth. If you are using these flowers in your scrapbook layout, you might not want to make it as thick. But this is the Gerber Daisy. It is from our flower market, I had to think a second, our flower market collection. So that is available. Um, Close to my heart consultants are now Cricut affiliates. So if you'd like to get a hold of this image, certainly let me know and I will hook you up. So this one I'm gonna pop up and you can see how I have the dark the light and then the dark. Now the next layer, I don't want it to get so high. So I'm gonna put this one on with the light side up, but I'm gonna put it flat, okay? I'm still gonna fluff my pieces and I'm just rotating as I go. This one I think I want to do light as well. You could tweak it however you want. And then the top one I want to be dark. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foam on the top one, just like that, okay? So then you can, again, like I said, you can fluff it however much you want. When we add the glitter, you'll see that it makes it even easier to fluff. So I'm gonna move my pumpkin back over here, and the trick to putting these on is you're going to want to use the thick or double layers because of the curvature of the pumpkin so I have the regular thin, that's what I primarily use. So I'm gonna make it thick by just removing the film and adding a second layer of the tape directly on top. Just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna remove the film from that and put it on my pumpkin. And I want to kind of curve the pumpkin, the flowers around the pumpkin. So now you'll see that I also have pre-done some glitter ones. Now the glitter ones, um, you can't add much glitter to make them wet and move like we're gonna do with the other flowers. So these you kinda just need to do with your fingers. But because they're thicker, the paper is actually thicker, it gives you more wiggle room. So that's kind of a nice added bonus. And I want my flowers to overlap. So I'm just kinda overlapping them some this one I've already pre-done as well. This is that beautiful desert rose, and you can see the color variations in the flowers. 
just like that. So this one I'm actually gonna scooch over just a little bit because I do want all of my flowers to fit. And I have a total of five, but I don't want them to be totally covered. So I'm just kinda, you kinda have to wiggle them around with your actual pumpkin because each pumpkin is gonna be a little bit different. Okay, so now that I have those, I can see that this one I want to wiggle down a little bit. This one I think I wanna to pull to the top. Like I said, it's, it's very easy to kinda of play. Oops. Get them the way that you want them. Just like that, okay? So then once we have all of our flowers to the top, Pull this one down a little bit more. There we go. We're gonna use, we're gonna make sure that they all look kind of in a circle, circular pattern. We're gonna use the clear shimmer brush to add details. And I'm just going to kind of do the veins of the flowers. I'm not gonna cover them completely. But by doing this, not only does it add sparkle, but it also makes the paper a little bit wet, which means that I can fluff them easier. Now, if you didn't want to add the sparkle, you could use a spritz and just spritz them with water. That would make them wet so that they would be uh, more playable and movable. But see how I can do that much easier now that that paper is just a little bit wet? You want to make sure you get the underlining ones as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm not really concerned about the middle because I have something else that we're gonna do to the middle. So it's more of the regular petals that I'm trying to get. And you want to go ahead and fluff them while it's still wet before moving on to the next flower. If you want more dimension, if you want more pieces to pop up, then you can use more foam tape in between the layers. That works really well. I did that on this one. This one I had pre-done, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more glitter. And there's no science. I'm just kind of adding that extra glitter, that shimmer to the petals. What I've done on most of mine is I've gone back and added second layers because that helps out. Okay, so this one I feel like needs a little bit more. I'm just gonna add more of the brush. And you could adapt these. You could um, recreate this project as many times as you wanted, but you could adapt it to the smaller pumpkins. So I've gotten a couple of smaller pumpkins and I would just start with this size flower and go down, okay? So now that we have that done, we're gonna take our sequins, and these are our loose sequins. I love the craft containers because I can just take and put a few inside. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get three sequins and put three sequins on the center of each flower. Now, if you want more pink ones, you could do more pink ones or more rose ones. Whatever color suits your fancy, I just try to do um, kind of a variety. Some of them are, are more of a flat, um, matte color, and others are more of a shiny metallic. And then we have this beautiful, oops, I dropped it, this beautiful iridescent pink or rose gold. So you can pick out whichever one that you like. And you would actually do that for all of your flowers. I'm just gonna do it one for time's sake. Then I'm gonna come back with my diamond stickles, which is a clear stickle. And I love to accent the center of the sequins with just a little dot of that stickles clear glitter glue. And it just, it dries so beautifully and it makes it so pretty. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sequins, and you can do as many as you want, and I'm gonna attach those directly to my pumpkin. Now, if you choose to um, go all the way down your pumpkin, you could certainly do that. You could also use a liquid glass or a liquid glue, but I wanted to make sure for mine that I could do this in a timely fashion. When I tried using the liquid glue, um, I had a hard time with the pieces kind of sliding down. 
So I thought it would be better to do with the actual glue dots and that seems to work better for me. So I just kind of did it, I didn't really do it in rhyme and reason on mine and I came down about three rows and then went all the way across the pumpkin. Now you of course could bring your sequins all the way down. I just wanted them kind of like a cascading look or flourishing cascade. And so that's why I chose to do mine that way. But you're gonna do the, um, the glitter glue on all of the sequins just like that. And you're gonna go all the way around the entire pumpkin. Now for accents, I'm gonna slide the pumpkin out of the way just for a second. I created some tags and these tags were cut with our thin cut sets and I will just simply add their item number to this video at the end. Here I stamped happy fall on just a piece of my scrap paper and I'm just going to glue that right down to my tag and then trim it to fit. And this happens to be one of my favorite stamp sets, especially for the fall. It is Autumn Blessings. You'll see that it comes as a stamp set with three individual pumpkins and then a row of pumpkins. There's a little flourish, a couple of sentiments, and then you can also purchase it with the thin cuts, which makes it super easy to cut out these little pumpkins. Okay, so for the Happy Fall one, I just have that one. And then I wanted to use the bigger pumpkin because I love that bigger pumpkin. It just has a little bit of sass to it. I'm gonna put it up on foam tape and then remove the backing. And then I'm gonna come out and do a couple of my sequins around my pumpkin. And you can put them however you want. I'm just gonna add them. I tried to use more of the darker because I wanted them to show up better. The rose gold one doesn't show up super, super well which is understandable because it's basically rose gold on rose gold. And before I put that one to the side, then I want to go ahead and add a little bit of the stickles to each of the sequins. And then I'm taking my shimmer brush and not really coloring it in, but, whoops, I got a little bit too much of my too wetness. I'm just going to outline the curvatures of the pumpkin so that they really stand out. And then I'm gonna go back and do the stem. And if I feel like when I'm done it needs a little bit more glitter, I can certainly do that. I did use the toffee ink, which I did not use in the project, but I felt like the, the toffee ink worked really, really well. I felt like the espresso was a little bit dark for the actual tags. So we're gonna put that one aside. The second one has a um, squared off edge. So for that one, I am just going to put a little piece of my glitter paper. I just want to brighten it up a little bit. Make sure that that is straight. And it's just a scrap of my glitter paper. In your kit, there um, you have lots of extra of the glitter paper. So you could even doll these up even more than what I'm doing. But this was just to um, give you a few ideas Again, for this tag, I am going to add my sequins. This one is just all sequins. There's no pumpkin on it. So I want to do a couple more than I did on my previous one. And I just think this is such a fun project. I love doing pumpkins with my kids, but they're getting a little bit older and they're such a mess. And this is one that you could use over and over again. Um, just, you know, put it in a container when you pack up for your fall. I would say um, a tip that I do when I do things like this is that I add, I would put like a little baggie of the extra sequins and pack it away because these sequins might not always be available. And if you lose a few sequins, then you have those um, that you could use later. So these are the rose gold sequins. They are actually retired, but they are still available. And I think that now that we have the rose gold paper, it really adds to the possibilities. So there, that piece I took across that one 
And this was just a fourth of an inch strip and I had enough to do all of these tags with it. Just like that. And then I have my little pumpkins. I have my two pumpkins on this one. So I'm gonna put this one down. This is the darker, this is the scarlet. I'm gonna put that one down first. And it's kind of sitting on top of the glitter. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put this one on, but I want it to overlap. So I'm gonna be really careful where I put that foam tape. And this little guy in the Desert Rose, he is a little bit um, below the pumpkin and overlapping. Then I'm gonna come back again with my sequins. And I'm just gonna attach three at the top. I like doing clusters of three. You, of course, can do however many you want. If you want lots and lots of sequins, you could do that. But I'm gonna do a little cluster of three. Oops. Then I'm gonna come back with my shimmer brush. And again, if it's super wet, wipe it off on a scrap. Whoops. Because you don't want too much. If you get too much in one space, it's gonna look, um, it'll turn out very silvery like that piece just did there. So I'm just gonna kinda pull that down for my veins and even it out so I don't have to redo my pumpkin. Okay. And we're gonna add the stickles again, just to the center. And that creates all of our tags. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ribbon and you're gonna thread your ribbon through your tags. And it doesn't really matter which order you have it. And when you attach the tags to the pumpkin, you're gonna anchor them. So my tags are still a little bit wet. I'm gonna thread this last one through, just like that. And you're gonna pull your pumpkin and then decide where you want them. The center one I did on purpose for mine, which just had the sequins, that made it a little bit easier. So then I came across and I just tied this to the stem. You can drop yours down a little bit more or put them higher, however you want. And I just tied it with a knot. Like that. Then I cut off my ribbon and I tucked this beyond, behind the flower. So you can actually pull up this flower and tuck it behind and secure it with a glue dot so that you don't see that part. You're gonna fix these just the way that you want them. And again, mine are still a little bit wet, so I'm not gonna secure them into place completely yet. But about like that. Then you're gonna come across with your ribbon again Come underneath these, pull it together. And I didn't pull it super tight. Now I gave you a pretty long piece of ribbon so that you could have flags. I cut mine too short, but that way you could have flags. And then once you're done and these dry, then you're gonna come down with your foam tape. And you might have to do like three layers. I ended up having to do three layers off here. So here's two and I'm going to add one more layer to it. And that's going to hold down your tags because your tags are elevated. So I'm just going to put it underneath like this and pull it down and gently pull it to the pumpkin. And that turns your tags downward. And then you can see like my sequin is not really, it's too far over. Whoops. So I can just scoot my sequins to actually fit my pumpkin. But that is all there is to it. Of course, there's lots and lots of room for um, your creative flair to add to this project. But I hope you enjoy it. And whatever you do, make your day sassy. Thanks, guys.